This weekend, Oliver Dowden, the Chancellor to the Duchy of Lancaster, may have let slip what to expect in the forthcoming budget on November the 17th. Here, have a listen. The Prime Minister and the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt have put restoring stability and that's absolutely essential because, for example, if we allow inflation to get out of control, mortgage rates to get out of control, everyone is going to suffer and the poorest will suffer the worst. So it's right that we take difficult decisions. I have to say to, to you and your viewers, there will be, unfortunately, more significant difficult decisions to come in the autumn statement the week after next. But it is about difficult decisions, but also protecting the most vulnerable. Should most of us expect to be paying more tax? Well, I think we're going to have to face uh, difficult decisions both on the, the tax side, we, we haven't got to the end of the difficult decisions there, and difficult decisions on the spending side. Now, of course, in terms of the, the specific decisions that will be made, that conversation is ongoing between the, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor, and you wouldn't expect any government minister to comment before the, the autumn statement. Uh, I can't go into any individual uh, stories, but what I can say is it is the case there will be difficult decisions in that, that, that autumn statement. And previously with austerity, we saw the focus on spending cuts, but it, it is right, it seems, uh, from what you've and others have said, that actually tax rises are going to form a bigger part than previously. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say as between tax versus spending cuts, we've got to, unfortunately because of the difficult decisions that we have to take, we're going to have to take difficult decisions on both tax and spending. But of course, as Conservatives, and I know that the... The Prime Minister and the Chancellor share this view with me. We need to bear down on spending first and uh, eliminate waste, excessive spending, and only go to tax rises if it's a last resort. But given the difficulty of the public finances, there is likely to be a mix of the two. Now, they dress it up as making the difficult decisions. I mean, how many times do you say that? But when all they're doing is saying, yeah, we blew a £40 billion hole in the finances and you need to pay for it. There are other ways that it could raise this money without cutting spending, such as the windfall tax on the energy companies, banning the non-DOM status, or even introducing a wealth tax. But all of these go against the Conservatives' way of thinking. This is going to be Austerity 2.0. Squeeze people at the bottom even more now, make them suffer as much as possible, and then just before the next election, give them something back. Just a little, so they think that all their suffering is coming to an end, and look, the Conservatives have been able to give us something back, but don't vote Labour because they'll take it all away again. Then, when the ruse is over, and they convince enough of the trees to vote for the axe, because the axe's handle is made of wood, the squeeze goes back on again. Don't believe they're making difficult decisions. Winter is coming, and it's going to be a lot colder for some people because of that government squeeze. And if you think that the government are still working in the nation's interest, here's Michael Fabricant failing to list anything from the 12 years of achievements they can pick from. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.